Ash, where are we and why are we here? We are in uh, San Rafael, California yeah. uh, for the Sickle Scramble, annual Sickle Scramble, first ever. Yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. You just have yeah. to come check it out. So make sure you come on out. out. <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, quite epic kind of relay awesome um, event. And uh, I was fortunate to team up with my uh, Luna teammates. Yeah. And, uh, kind of the first time we get to do a relay. You know, right, we race right. together yep. a lot, but not together. We're right. racing in an individual sport, so today right. is quite unique and quite fun. So thank you, Cliff Bar, for putting uh, yep. a different kind of event together. Yeah. Did you have fun? I did. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I wish we could um, ride around a little bit more. We didn't advance for the finals, right. which is a bummer, but, you know, we can win it all, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so coming off a World Cup win at Cross Vegas, how does this compare? <laughs> well, you know, these kind of events, that's what cycling is all about. And, yeah. uh, you know, obviously, with Bar beliefs in their, uh, you know, on a bike, off the bike, just having a good time. And right. that's, you know, that's kind of where my lifestyle comes from. And uh -huh. uh, it allowed me and helped me to be fast on those days when I have to be fast but yeah. you know without this there wouldn't be the serious kind of racing so right. it's it's good balance and uh, um, yeah like I said pretty pretty good time <laughs> is this the future of bike racing oh uh, I hope so yeah. yeah I mean it's not gonna be for everybody but uh -huh. as you can tell it's a good turnout today and there's a lot of a lot of cool spirit and a lot of people are really into it and it's um uh, yeah there wasn't much description you know just right. bring one bike for people costume whatever and yeah. the rest you just figure out and it's been cool to see what people came up with not all that different than grassroots cyclocross right yeah yeah i mean you get all the um, important elements you have bikes yeah you got cool people you got yeah. beer yeah i mean what else you can ask for right right, right. <laughs> Do you think Cliff Bar will take this to other cities in the future? I kind of heard that it's a possibility, maybe yeah. college campuses, but you know, I don't know. I was definitely part of a bit of a planning uh, the course early on, but I, uh -huh. you know, I think uh, they'll probably see, you know, the turnout and kind of uh, see how this all goes, and then kind of take it from there. But uh, yeah, I can definitely see this event kind right. of traveling around the country and more people enjoying kind of. You know, urban riding and still having fun without, you know, just being professional athletes. Right. So I think that's the coolest thing about it. Yeah. Kind of like one of those tough mudder runs on bikes and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, it's uh, it's kind of exciting because I feel like we have so many different things as far as cycling disciplines now. Right. And it's like everybody can choose something and it just brings more people uh, together and riding bikes. And that's really what we're after. Right, right. Did you guys talk strategy at all? Plan your bikes? Uh, <laughs> little bit, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, you can put us in hard costumes, but, you know, yeah. we're still racers, so. right, right. um, didn't talk tons of strategy, but exchanged little tips from the course, and, yeah. you know, and once we were out there, we were definitely going for it, you yeah. know, we wanted yeah. to, we wanted to do well, and, uh, you know, uh, I definitely chop off a couple people around. Yeah. <laughs> We focus on our transition. Right. It was like, okay, we can do well in this because we're yep. cyclocross racers. Right. And, you know, so right. that was good. <laughs> did you do two laps at a time or change we every did, lap? Yeah, we did two laps at a time. That seemed to be quicker, you know, just, you know, stopping and changing bike. And right. then, you know, for the last chance competition, it was just one lap at a time. And, yep. um, yeah, it was awesome. Just one seat height or did you guys use a dropper post or something? Oh, uh, we used dropper post, you know. We we got the tall girl, Georgia, on yeah. the team and she started and then the seat got dropped and it was the same for the last three of us, you know. So Nice, yeah. nice. What's in store for cross season for the rest of the Um, a little bit of everything, you know. Yeah. I'm going out to Providence next week and okay. uh, probably hit some of the local events in the Bay Area and uh, a couple more UCI events and uh -huh. uh, yeah not not really uh, big you know winter push like last last few years right. uh, just staying more locally this year and you know hitting uh, grassroots events like this <laughs> right
Any World Cups or uh, World no, Championships at least? No, not on the plan right now. Really? No, I'm kind of hitting the mountain bike season early on next year. Wow. And, you know, I'm just... With the uh, Olympics coming up? I'm just at that age that you got to be a little bit more smarter and selective, and it's really hard. I mean, I've, I've done... I think I've done a really good job with it, but there's been seasons that I race 10 years out of the year, and people right. are like, why not going there? Why not going there? I'm like, I can't, I can't be everywhere. <laughs> right. Olympic aspirations, though? Uh, not, not huge for me, no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the team's definitely gunning for it. You know, we have so many awesome riders on the team that will definitely be out there. I'll probably just mix a little bit more of the domestic and some World Cups, and, uh, you know, I want to save it up again for a little bit of cross, a little bit of everything. No, no huge uh, kind of events, I guess. Right. <laughs> Plus, you've been to the Winter Olympics too, right? So save it yeah, for someone yeah. else. Yeah, <laughs> I've been to the Olympics four times, and, you know. So I feel like I've, I've done my share, and it's right. uh, it's amazing. It's it's a cool event, but it also takes. Uh, Take some serious focus and uh, single-minded focus, and um, you know I'm kind of past that stage, and I just really yeah. enjoy riding my bike and doing a whole bunch of different events that you know you don't get to do if you're right. focusing just on the Olympics. So, like today, uh, <laughs> like today, you know, yeah. and um, so yeah, I'm, awesome. I'm looking forward to next year. Yeah. Great. Well, good luck in Providence, and thanks for your time. Thank you.